Oh, hey, I didn't see you. I was busy blinding myself with my diamonds. Today, I want to talk to you about something that should be number one on your priority list. Since the most important things in life are how much money you make, how other people perceive you, and your status in society, I'm going to talk about how to trick people into thinking you're rich. When you do these things, people automatically assume that you're an intelligent, important, responsible person. The first way to trick people into thinking you're rich is with your appearance. For both girls and guys, the most important thing to do is to wear name brand designers. And I'm talking about the ones that are so expensive, it would only make financial sense for someone that made millions of dollars to wear them. This lets people know that you're also a millionaire, even though you may or may not be unemployed. To most effectively show off your extravagant purchases, make sure you take a picture of it and put it on Facebook and Twitter so that the people that can't see it in person can see it online. Hashtag ballin'. This should be fairly easy for you to do because since you live at home with your parents, all income is expendable income. Unemployment checks can buy a surprising number of Dolce & Gabbana items. When people inquire why a millionaire like you lives with your parents, some reliable excuses are you're saving up to buy a house or a condo, you're really close with your mom, or you can just blame the economy. Whatever you do, don't let them know that your need for material possessions outweighs your desire for financial independence. You're only 25. Your parents are supposed to still pay Pay for car payments, car insurance, utilities, cell phone bills, school loans, if you went to school, health insurance, groceries, cable and internet. I mean, you're pretty independent as it is. You pay for your own gas. If you do have a degree, make sure after graduation you never get a job that you perceive as below you to try and make ends meet. Those mediocre grades at that mediocre college gives you at least $75,000 a year. Don't ever settle for less. It's much better to collect unemployment checks and wait for that job that you deserve. When the weekend rolls around, instead of saving money like you said you would, make sure that you go out. And you can't just go to that bar up the street to get drunk because you're sad. You have to go to that big club, but you can't just go there like every everyone else. You need a VIP table so that you can pop bottles. It's not a waste of hundreds of dollars at all. You get a bottle of Grey Goose, orange juice, and cranberry juice, and someone to pour it for you. And you get to sit in a little section all by yourself, even though you go down into the club anyways. Another way to trick people into thinking you're rich is by taking several vacations a year. And not to places to travel or gain cultural perspective, but to places where you can get drunk and pop bottles like you do at home, but in a tropical climate. It would take most hardworking Americans a long time to save up enough money to take a trip like that and could probably only dream of going somewhere like that for a honeymoon but they just don't know how to hustle and grind and save money like you do and if you still don't have everything that you want from having all of your expenses paid for make sure you get a credit card or 10 then you can have everything you've ever wanted for the low price of $10 a month that will never swallow you up in debt for the rest of your life and girls make sure when you're dating you only date men that are financially independent that way by the time you've suckered him into a relationship with you, he can give you the life you've pretended to have this whole time. And guys, when the type of girl who you attract from tricking people into thinking you're rich dumps you because she found out you're not actually rich and that was the only reason she liked you in the first place because she also likes tricking people into thinking she's rich, you can just call her a gold digging whore and get back out there and date another gold digging whore. I mean, what else are you going to do? You gonna live within your means and be financially responsible and have people think you're a regular person with a regular job? No, that's just fucking stupid. Oh, it's a Mexican kitty in a wolf. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every Wednesday. Yeah. Mumbles, what do you think? Do you wanna go for a W A L K? Wanna go for a what? Wanna go outside? Uh oh, I think that's a yes. All right, we'll see you next week. Say bye, Spider Man. Bye, Spider-Man. Bye, Spider-Man. Oh, you say, stop showing my genitals, Mommy. You're embarrassing me. Okay. I'm sorry. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye.